Cry 3. If you were watching the PlayStation press conference last night, you saw the reveal of Far Cry 3's co-op campaign, four-player co-op. But first, before we dive into all those details, I want to get us up to speed, Dee Dee, about where we're at with the single-player game. Like, there's a there's quite an involved story and setting here. So, where are we at with that? Um, yeah, the single-player. Um, what can I say? It's it's quite insane. Um, <laughs> The single player takes place on this island, and you play uh, a character named Jason Brody, and you follow his journey um, on this island full of weird characters and insane things that are happening. Yeah, sounds like my kind of game. So now the four-player co-op, though, this isn't just sort of like let's take single player and throw yeah. in another couple players. It, uh, what? How does that work? Like, what? Where is it set in the narrative? Well, the, it's set in the same in the same island in the same uh, in the same kind of. Uh, yeah, it's the same island with the same enemies that you're fighting, uh, but it is a unique campaign. It's uh, it's six unique co-op maps that are built specifically for co-op, and uh, it takes place about six months before uh, Jason Birdie comes to the island in single player. So the conflicts aren't fully evolved yet, but you get to kind of see what happens on the island before he gets there. Awesome. So uh, how does four-player co-op? I mean, how do you gear a campaign around having sort of four guys all all coordinating? I mean. What were some of the design challenges there? Well, first and foremost, we're focusing on gameplay and on making it super fun for the player. Uh, and that means that um, you always have a very clear goal of what you're doing, and then you just go ahead and you run and rush into it. Um, but uh, the main focus for us is team play. In Far Cry 3, your friends really matter. So we have a lot of features that support that. Uh, not only is the mission and the mission design kind of revolves around you working together, uh, but all of the features that we have and the features that we share with the adversarial multiplayer, those are focused on team play too. That's just stuff like revives, uh, but we also have more specialized features like the battle cries that you can do, which is essentially giving some kind of boost, it could be a health boost to your friends. Um, and we have in co-op, we have also specific unique co-op features where you can give boosts or buffs to your friends. It's fun. Uh, well, I was playing it over here. We have it playable in the PlayStation E3 booth. If you're at E3, come see us in South Hall. West Hall, sorry, West Hall. <laughs> and uh, one thing I noticed, I was playing it, and a, a, an attack jo dog jumped on me at one point, yeah. and it was, like, really hard. I had to fight this thing off, and, and, and all the guys uh, on the Ubisoft team were saying, you know, where are you? we got to come save you. So yeah. talk about how you can kind of coordinate in these other ways. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have the attack dogs. You, have, you need your friends to help you to get out of that. Um, we also have um, there's so much to talk about. Uh, we have tagging. Communication is super important when you when you try to cooperate. And even if you're if you don't have a headset or if you're not sitting next to each other in the couch, uh, you can still say, okay, I'm gonna take that guy. You take out this guy. I'm going over here. So that's kind of one thing that you can do. And then we have where you're reliant on your teammates, like with the with the attack dogs that will attack you, or when you go down and you need to be revived. Or when you want to give these different boosts as well. Yeah, so let's check out some of the live game or some of the BR, the, the, the footage from Far Cry 3's co op, four player co op on PS3. Now, that wasn't the only big news you had last night. I mean, there was, there, there's actually going to be a map editor in the game for multiplayer as well, right? Yes, the map editor is back. It's been one of the, the classic Far Cry things, and it's back now. Uh, you, can build, you can build your own maps for multiplayer, upload them you know, on the consoles, play with your friends. That's pretty sweet. But anyway, here we're, we're checking out some of the footage. Uh, tell me about some of the weaponry I'm going to be able to use. I mean, I saw like a flamethrower, quite a quite a wide arsenal. Yeah, we have a, we have more than 30 different types of weapons of guns. Um, some of them are, are like, some of them are quite uh, unique and, and non-military, like the flamethrowers and the bows and all of that. In uh, in single in, or in co-op and in multiplayer. You can fully customize your loadout, so you have a lot of customization options for your weapons as well as your loadout, because we don't have classes, but you get to choose what you want to play. So, as I said, we have Revive. If you want to help and revive your friends, you don't have to choose the Revive class. You can build that into your own loadout. And multiplayer and co-op uh, share the same profile. So whatever you unlock in your progression in multiplayer, you take that over into co-op and vice versa. Oh, that's handy. Now we're seeing some of the footage here, and, and, and there seems to be some objectives in the co-op. It yeah. isn't just sort of running through some sort of campaign. Tell me about some of the things, that, some of the ways that you'll coordinate, like on this bridge here. Yeah, what just, what's happening here is that you see uh, one character here is carrying a bomb on, on the, onto the bridge because we're trying to blow up the bridge. 
This is not good. And um, that's kind of a neat cooperative uh, action that's going on because when you're carrying the box, you're, you're defenseless and you need the other players to protect you. You can, you can, I mean, you can drop the bomb and start shooting and tell, but then you won't, you know, move forward in the mission. So that's what's going on here. I think they need to pick up a few more bombs to actually blow up the bridge. So uh, four-player co-op in Far Cry 3, a, a whole new campaign, not just sort of a tacked on to the single player. Yeah. Talk about, you know, I mean, how, how long an experience between the single player and the co-op am I, can I expect? Well, <laughs> Quite a lot. I mean, it's such a big game. It's such a huge offering. Um, the single player with its open world obviously is it's just massive in, in the offering that you're getting there. And then you have the multiplayer, which is obviously, uh, well, basically endless. Um, and then you have the co-op on top of that. And we have six uniquely filled maps, uh, each about 45 minutes to 60 minutes long, depending on the difficulty level and your skill level. But we have a focus on replayability. So all of the maps, you can play them over and over again. Like, everything you see here with the AI, the AI is fully systemic, and that means that each playthrough that you do is Talk about, I mean, obviously, Far Cry 2, well-received game, very critically acclaimed. Talk about sort of the evolution of Far Cry 2 to Far Cry 3. Very different games in some ways. Um, yes, but we're still an open-world shooter. It's still about the, the journey of that individual who is in there. I think that's very important to hold, hold on to that. What Far Cry 3 does is just it expands that whole universe, not just because the single player is so just dense and you can go and explore everywhere with like wild animals and crazy characters all over these, this island, um, but then we have the multiplayer. Far Cry 2 had multiplayer as well, we're just you know, building onto that, uh, making sure that everything that you want from a, from a modern FPS is in there for the multiplayer. And then we have the co-op on top of it. One detail I heard in there I got to just inquire about there is the animals. Tell me about these animals. I've heard there's quite a bit of detail in the way these animals well, work. It's a jungle. There's a lot of wildlife. I mean, you probably saw the tiger, which I think is an awesome animal from the single player campaign. But, you know, I'm not going to reveal too much, but uh, there's definitely, there's a lot going on. Excellent stuff. All right. And uh, one more bit of news that came out of PlayStation's E3 press conference last night about Far Cry 3 was exclusive DLC coming to PS3 owners, is that right? Absolutely. Can you tell us anything at all no, about it? No, but it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. You heard it here first. Thank you very much for joining You're us. Welcome. We're going to go to Christina Lee and Pulse to get some E3 a little bit later to get some E3 highlights on day one. Stay tuned.